Yep. Yep. I brought Edinburgh Castle. I don't know why. Because it doesn't really give you much. <laughs> 10 super wheel spins for 15 million credits. And I suppose the bragging right that you've brought Edinburgh Castle. Um, so to everyone else, it just looks like some yobbos rocked up in a 2010 Golf R to purchase a 15 million credit castle. Yep, it's weird, I know. Um, but really, there's nothing too much from it. Um, like I said, apart from really the bragging rights, to be honest. Um, if I were you guys, and I'd saved up enough to buy Edinburgh Castle, um, and if you've not already bought Bamburgh Castle, I'd probably purchase Bamburgh Castle first if I were you, like I have. Um, yes, like you see here, you win the Alfa Romeo P3 as a vintage race car. Um, but with Bamber Castle, obviously you do get the barn find there. Um, I will be uploading in a couple of weeks when the last two barn finds are released, uh, a video showing the location for every single barn find if you have not found them yet. Um, obviously I'm waiting to make it a complete video and show all 15 barn finds at once. But yes, this is what you win uh, when you purchase Edinburgh Castle, the Alfa Romeo P3 and 10 Super Wheel Spins. Fair enough, it is a very cool car. Um, and like I said, you get the bragging right of owning Edinburgh Castle, but there's nothing too much really that comes with it. Um, it's probably worth, like I said, buying Bamburgh Castle, uh, two other properties, uh, one of them of which I've po posted a video of before, which gives you uh, the ability to fast travel anywhere in the map. Um, and there's another one out in the woods, that gives you the ability to have skill songs. Uh, so they're probably the most beneficial houses to you guys uh, if you sort of saved up for Edinburgh Castle and then continue saving for the castle itself. Now, um, like I said, you've got the bragging right there if you do have Edinburgh Castle. Um, another topic I want to touch on quick is the Goliath race glitch. Now, I'm sure some of you might have caught a glimpse of AL12's video where he's shown it. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing it personally because Turn 10 do have a reputation for banning people and resetting their credits all the way to zero and their levels etc uh, for exploiting glitches within the game. AL12 was made um, to take the video down and I know a couple other channels who uploaded it and who also have had the video taken down. Um, it is a very very simple glitch and a very easy glitch and you will level up a ridiculous amount of times and make a stupid amount of credits. Um, obviously wheel spins and everything that comes with it but I wouldn't recommend doing it uh, and if you're planning on putting a video up on it I wouldn't either because turn 10 will probably ask you to take it down hence why I'm not going to get involved in that because um, I don't feel it's worth it just for a few thousand quick views uh, and maybe a few subscribers from it it's not worth doing in my opinion um, anyway guys I will be uploading as well that ridiculous 300 odd wheel spin video I've got uh, I saved them up for a long long time um, and I've well, a couple of people have commented saying they'd actually find it quite interesting. It's a 20 odd minute long video, but I will be uploading that tomorrow after work. Uh, but again, a massive, massive thank you to everyone who's recently joined the channel and to those of you who have been, you know, been with me throughout. Um, I want to say a massive, massive thank you. I do appreciate it all. And I will be doing some form of giveaway uh, at the end of this month to celebrate that. Because obviously now I've passed 2000 subscribers. Like I said, it means a lot to me. So thank you very much, guys, and all the best.